Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brad. Today what I want to talk about very briefly is, you know, it's a very common question that I get. And even if it's not something that I get asked, it's something that is pervasive throughout our culture. And it has to do with male-female relations. And many men suffer through a woman not respecting them. And they wonder why that happens. And you know, really, I had, um, you know, of course, as we evolve, our opinions change. My opinion has definitely changed on this quite a bit. <clears throat> and currently, the way that I feel about it today is that, you know, if your girlfriend, your wife, your mom, women in general, or people, you know, like, if your girlfriend is overtly respect disrespecting you, chances are there are other people out there who are also disrespecting you. And there's, uh, there are very crystal clear reasons within your behavior, within your presentation, within um, the way that you speak, why you're not getting respect. And um, in a bigger picture kind of sense, you know, it's like, why are you, why are you behaving that way? Why do you, you know, speak in a way that does not demand respect? Why do you, uh, present yourself in a way that does not demand respect as well. And that happened because, you know, nobody taught us. <laughs> nobody taught most uh, men in the millennial generation how to be men. And before that, uh, the baby boomers, many of them uh, completely abandoned the uh, institution of manhood because of, uh, you know, a lot of the civil rights things that were going on in America uh, around that time in the 60s, 70s, uh, they pretty much abandoned the institution of manliness and, you know, military discipline and all that stuff. The only way to really, um, you know, be on top of yourself and, and, and demand respect from other people is to really get uh, several different things down in your own life, you know, you, you know, you need to take ownership of, and responsibility over several different things in your life if you want to be, if you want to command respect from people. And it's not just, it's not just women, of course, it's, it's, it's people. And, um, you know, when you're in business or when you, um, when you uh, are communicating with other men, you need to you need to demand the respect that you're you're earned, and many times you know men will jockey for position with each other, where you know they'll say something to test you, they'll throw a joke at you, or they'll do something to kind of barb at you or whatever, and see if you catch it. And if you just let it go, then you're gonna you know lose a little bit of face in public, and that type of shit happens all the time. Other men are constantly testing at you, and if you can learn to deal with them and push them down. Uh, you know, not that you're looking to dominate other people, but, you know, other people attack you, you have to, you know, hit them down and be like, don't do that again. And, and then they won't do it again. Or they might, but it's your job to maintain uh, respect for yourself. You know, that's basically it is, uh, you know, once you begin to get disciplined and serious about your life, uh, almost the way that I view my life as, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but the things that I think about nowadays is I try to think of myself as, I compete against myself. I don't really compete against anybody else. I compete against myself and I am aware of all of the places in my day where I'm not doing the right thing. And I think everybody does to some degree. And uh, you gain respect for yourself where you beat, you're competing against the you of yesterday and you beat him. You're doing better than you were yesterday. If I can do that, then I can feel respect for myself. And also, I can feel like, just I'm standing on more solid ground. I think a lot, a lot of men don't know where they stand. They have no idea. And, um, you'll figure out very quickly where you stand when you start to notice all the little mistakes in your day. Um, even, I mean, the crazy thing too is like, I'm a very blessed person. I've had financial success. 
I've had success within a following, uh, putting my message out there and, and helping people, thank God. Even though my message was far from perfect, I still helped people. And for that reason, that's why I can feel like I'm standing on solid ground. Um, it, the, the point is, is that even though I, I did those videos, there was a huge gap between where I was and where I am now and where, um, where I could be in the future. And by looking at all those little things, I can improve those things. And the point I actually was starting to make there was that even though I had that level of success, there were still a lot of things that I needed to fix about the old me. You know, there was a lot. And even today, there's a lot of things that I need to fix about me currently. But as long as I continuously move and keep pushing and grinding forward, I'm going to feel okay. And I'm going to feel like, uh, you know, just more solid. Because fact is, is that um, most people don't think like that. And uh, when you begin to think like that, you begin to, you know, make these changes to yourself. What you'll find is, is that you'll notice those little details that are off in other people. And that is what allows you to kind of, you know, if somebody's barbing at you, you can kind of say, Hey, you know what? You're not perfect. Look at this, 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 and this, look at this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, that's wrong with you. You know, you're not doing like, come on, let's go. And then also you're a more useful asset in the world because you know, you become more competent and you become more detail focused and you become more professional. That's just, that's just basically it. I mean, you're, you're constantly trying to perform better and that then that attitude of wanting to be better is taken into the work environment. It's taken into this, it's taken into that. And then I also think that's very good because, um, it removes outward blame for, uh, like you're not going to be, you're not going to be, you know, focused so much at least on what went wrong in your life, which led to your situation. And those things may very well be real. And a lot of times they are real, but you know, if you can remove the focus from that and put it on to, you know, what can I do? What do I have control over? You actually have a control over a lot. And, uh, you know, it's all within yourself. Like everything here I can control. You know, I can control what I put in my body. I can control things in my immediate surroundings. And then I can reach my control out into different spheres. I can make a YouTube channel, for instance, and control that. I can make an email account and control that. I can control all those things. But to control another person, that's pretty difficult. To control fucking anything, basically, is kind of just a waste of time. So you just work on what you can, and that keeps you busy. And then you're not going to really – that's – it's another very important mindset shift, you know, f focus on what I can control here and, and really do it. You know, like I have a choice to either sit here and, you know, watch a video on YouTube or clean up, uh, organize, write something, be productive, don't procrastinate. You know, procrastination is horrible because if you're procrastinating, you're, you're putting off the, uh, you know, by you not doing the work you're going to feel terrible about it. You're going to feel like just anxious and depressed and overwhelmed, you know, whereas when you just fucking do the task, that's where you're on point and that's where you stay, um, you know, on top of your workload, on top of your responsibilities. And then you can even improve upon that. The problem is, is <laughs> nobody teaches this shit and, and you get behind on work, you get behind in housework, you get behind on your health, you get behind on all these things, you get behind on your relationships. And it's like, you know, that's where shit gets bad. And then, and then, but once you make the, the choice to switch to this, things can get better. Things can only get better once you start to decide that you want to be productive, you want to be a better version of yourself, you want to treat yourself with respect, eat healthily, sleep well, stick to a schedule, so on and so forth. That's what's going to help you doing things, you know, by the seat of your pants is not going to help you. So that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I do actually offer coaching in this respect. So if you're looking to get disciplined, I offer coaching where every single day I speak to my mentees, I record webinars and do a whole bunch of different stuff so that I can teach you guys how to make more money, how to get more on top of your life, how to be um, 
more positive people, so on and so forth. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later.